So I was in the process of setting up conversions on my website, and I thought I would walk you guys through the process. So first of all, make sure that you have Google Tag Manager installed um, on your website. And the way we can go about doing that is, let's go to the dashboard here. And for those of you, um, make sure that you have Elementor. This is mainly based on Elementor uh, form tracking. I am gonna be showing you guys how to track phone numbers and um, email clicks as well. So if you don't have Elementor, that is fine too, but um, I'm not really gonna be showing you guys how to set up form submissions for any other forms, only Elementor forms. So let's go ahead and just make sure that you go to uh, Elementor custom code or anywhere where you can add code snippets. And we're mainly gonna be adding um, our code snippets in the head and the body. So uh, once that loads in here, uh, I'll just show you where that's at. So first of all, just hit add new. And I already have it, as you can see, it's already set up but I do wanna walk you guys through that process here. Okay, so in here, this is where you would kind of name it, give it any name uh, if you want, you can call it um, Google Tag Manager um, head. So add, add this, the first one in the head, um, in the head here, and then go ahead and save it. Make sure you load it on the entire website and you just hit save. Um, hit this and then hit save on the entire website and then go ahead and create another one. Um, and this time uh, you're gonna to wanna to put that, I believe in the body. So we can put it in the body start, uh, make sure you name it Google Tag Manager body, um, and then you paste this bottom code in there. Um, and then you save it and make sure that the instance is on the entire website, entire site, hit save, and you should be all set there. Um, so I just wanted to give you that overview on how to install Google Tag Manager real quick. Um, so the next thing that we wanna go ahead and do is um, go to your Google Tag Manager now, and we need to go ahead and go to variables first. This part's really important so we can find the events. So go to configure and make sure that you go ahead and configure, um, you have these checked. All these should be checked. Um, and then the other thing that we wanna do is also check mark uh, click URL, okay? That part is really important as well. So make sure that is checked on that area there. So now if I go to triggers, let's go ahead, um, let's go to tags first and let's set up um, GA4 if you guys haven't. So you can hit new, uh, disregard some of my other um, tags that I have on here. So we're gonna do a GA4 before config and we're gonna set that up really quick. So we're gonna do a uh, Google tag and then we're gonna go into Google Analytics here. Let me move this over. And we're gonna to go to admin, data streams. This is, we're gonna click on our business name there, website name, we're gonna copy our measurement ID. We're gonna paste that in here. Triggering, we're gonna be triggering uh, initialization of all pages. And then we're gonna do save. Make sure that's saved, there we go. Um, let's see why I did save on here. Let's try this again. Okay, there we go. So we have that set up now. Now let's go into triggers here. Um, so we're gonna go ahead new and we're gonna call this, first we're gonna do form submit. So we're gonna do form submit and we're gonna trigger this on uh, form submission. And Elementor will automatically generate an event whenever someone um, hits submit. So that's where we can get that from. And we wanna do all forms. Okay, that's really important. So set that up there. Let's go to tags. Let's go ahead and um, call this one website form submit. And let me just grab something here. So on your tag configuration there, go ahead and do Google Analytics, Google Analytics G4, G4 event. And here, I'm gonna give my event name, I already have it set, just because that's something that I, that was already the event name that I had before. Um, so I'm just putting it back in there. And then our measurement ID again, as you can see now it's, the tag's gonna be found, it's gonna be found and it's because we uh, set up the G4 config. That's why it's important to do that part or else uh, the configuration will be set up properly. We wanna do event parameters, that's always important. So we know where, um, the, uh, where the visitor came from. So we're gonna do page pass. And then we're gonna do page. Uh, we can do page path there, add another one, the refer. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and grab that. Make sure we remove this. Um, so tr triggering, we're gonna do obviously form submit. That will be it right there. We're gonna hit save. That's gonna be set up. But now the other part we gotta do also as well is go into your admin settings here and we gotta set up the um, custom definitions there. So. I already have them set up, but basically you would just, let's do a page pass here. So you would call this one on um, page pass. And then what you would do is just copy what we already, what we added in here into the parameters. So grab that, copy it in here. There we go. 
it's not letting me because it already exists. So do that and then hit save. Okay. And then the next one, same thing. Uh, what I would do is put um, instead just to kind of make it easier. So you kind of know visitor came from, and then just go ahead and add that in there. Or you can name it whatever, you know, whatever name that I wouldn't just go with what I named it. And then you should, you should be fine. So set that up. Um, you know what? I may just set up this one as well. So I'll, I'll have that one and I'll have both. Okay. So now that we have that set up, that's perfect. So that's, that's set up with the, um, the form submission. So now I want to go ahead and set up, um, phone tracking. So what we do is I'm gonna move a little bit quickly here. So we're going to do a phone call click and we're going to go ahead and go into, um, just links, some links, click URL. We're going to do, um, starts with tell. Make sure that your website is linked so it's actually clickable make sure that you, the phone numbers are clickable um and the emails are also clickable as well using mail to colon and tell colon to make those clickable that's super important so make sure you set that up on your website so we're going to hit save here and then i'm also going to go ahead and do while i'm here i'm going to do the email as well so we can do email click and then we're going to do just links we're going to go ahead and click url contains we're going to do mail to colon perfect just clicks, email, and then we're gonna set this up again um, on the tags. I wish we could duplicate one. Can we duplicate them? No, I don't think we have, so we'll just have to set this up. So hit new, we're gonna do phone, website, website phone calls. We're gonna do website phone calls. We're gonna do the whole GA4 again, grab this, kind of a pain, have to do that every single time, but we'll just go there, data streams, and then we're gonna go ahead, grab that. We're gonna call it phone underscore or call. Um, and then we're gonna do the, our parameters that we did last time here. So page, path, and we already set those up. So it should be fine there. Same thing as last time. All right, perfect. And then this one is a website phone call. So we're gonna do phone call, click, save. Okay, what's wrong here? Okay, so that should be saved there. Now we have it as a phone call. Now let's go ahead and do um, the email. So let's do email. We can call it a website email. Email, that's fine. Email. Uh, uh, so we're going to do Google Analytics, G4. We're going to go ahead and paste um, our measurement ID, make sure that's, and we're going to do email underscore click, fine. And our parameters, page path again, page underscore path. Um, set this up. And then uh, we're going to do uh, email click. There we go. Email click, save. Okay, now it's all set up. Now what we can do is just test it real quick. So we can go into preview here. Don't want to spend that much time on this, but I'll hit connect. And I'll go through my website here and I'll just test it out just so you can see the event. So I'm going to hit my email. That will trigger that. I'll hit my phone number. Oops. That will trigger that. And then if I want to go to set a test lead here, we can do test name, test, oops, test email.com, phone number, and then test message. And then we'll hit send. There we go. I should probably make this white so people can see that. Um, but anyway, let's hit finish. And as you can see, now we have it triggering our G4, our website phone calls, our website email click, um, and then our website form as well. Um, website for some reason didn't fire, um, but it should. So, um, but I think if you give it some time, it probably will start working. I do want to check it out real quick just to make sure that everything's fine on it. Um, submission triggers. Yeah, so we should be set, um, but that should be coming in there. It will probably take a little bit to start populating on um, Google Analytics. So it may take uh, maybe a day or two. You may just have to test it out on your own as well. Um, you can see here, I marked these as conversions. Obviously, you don't have to mark them as conversions. 
Um, it's really up to you whether you want to count uh, a phone call as a conversion. So once the events start populating here in like a couple days, um, this is where you can go into events and start uh, tagging them, marking them as conversions. Now that's totally up to you if you want to go ahead and do that. Um, but that's pretty much it for this video. Um, hopefully it did help you guys out. If it did, make sure to like for the YouTube algorithm. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing so you don't miss any of my videos. Catch you guys in the next one.